Hi, hello, welcome and welcome back to yet another episode on Little Slaw YouTube channel. So today in this video, we will see about the basic HTTP authentication script, how to use or how to create this with JavaScript and how to run this in K6. So HTTP basic authentication is a simple authentication scheme built into the HTTP protocol and it requires the client to send a username and password with each request. So this is something similar to what we do for the application. So when we log in, when we want to log into an application, we use the username and password to log in. So this is a same thing, but we are doing this with a JavaScript request. And this is a very basic HTTP authentication, a basic authentication technique that we're going to use in this script for the K6 testing. So first we will see, first we will import the modules. We will import the basic modules that we use for K6. And one more thing, so for commenting in the JavaScript, we have to use the backslash. The double backslash will comment any lines that you enter here. So first I'm going to import the modules that we're going to use for the testing. So here are the three modules which I'm going to import. So the first thing is import encoding from K6 encoding and the second thing is import HTTP from K6 HTTP because we are doing this for HTTP protocol and then finally import check from K6. So this module provides functions for encoding and decoding data including base64 encoding which is used for encoding the credentials. The HTTP module provides functions for making HTTP request and the check is used to verify conditions during a test run and now we will define the username and password so here i'm going to define the username and password so these are the credentials that will be used for authentication and the next thing is we are going to add the exported function And I'm going to start the function with export default function here. And then I'm going to give the credentials. So this function, the export default function is the main function that K6 will execute during the test run. And this construct this constructs a URL where the username and password is embedded in the URL and this is a way to include the credentials in the request for HTTP basic authentication and now we will make the first HTTP request so here we are adding the URL along with the username and password And now we will define or we will declare the function. This is going to call the URL. So this let res equal HTTP dot get URL will send an HTTP get request to the constructed URL. So now we are going to verify the response. So how are we going to verify the response? We're going to verify the response from based on the request that we have sent. And here are the three conditions that we're going to verify. So the first thing is we have to ensure the HTTP response status is 200. So 200 is something which tells us that the response is a valid response and everything is working. And the second verification is that the response body contains authenticated is equal to true and then the last one is verify that the response body contains the user field with the expected username so these are the three conditions which we are going to test as part of this particular testing and then we are going to create custom header for authentication so creating custom headers for authentication 
and for that I'm going to use the following code so that this is an alternative way to authenticate using HTTP basic authentication because it creates a custom header with the encoded credentials so here we have the credentials and then here we have created a header so this is again another way to authenticate using HTTP basic authentication and here we have we have created a custom header so basically we have the default headers but here we are going to build a custom header with the encoded credentials and now we will make the second request with the following URL so here is the second request So this sends another HTTP GET request to the same URL but this time with the custom header containing the encoded credentials. So that's the difference between the first request and the second request because in the second request we are sending another HTTP GET. So here you can see it's a GET request to the same URL but this time with a custom header containing the encoded credentials. And now we will again do a verification of the responses. So now we are going to add another verification, verification for the second request. So these are the verifications that we are going to do for the second request. So, so this checks the same condition as before. So like here, the same thing to ensure the authentication was successful. So overall in this code, in this basic authentication code, we can see that there are two methods of performing HTTP basic authentication in K6 that is embedding the credentials in the URL and creating a custom header with the encoder credentials. It then verifies the responses to ensure the authentication was successful. So now we will execute this K6 testing and we will see how does it work. So I'm going to save this file inside our k6 folder and I'm going to save this as basic hyphen authentication.js I'm going to save it as all types so let me add two and I'm going to save it and now let's open the partial Now I'm going to cd into the directory. And now we are into the uh, k6 directory. Now I'm going to run the 5chess k6 run. So now we will run the test, which is k6 run. And the file name is basic minus authentication minus 2.js. And here we have got the test completed. So here we have used only one user. And the test is completed. So there is one more thing which I can add to this request. So every time when we run the test at the end, we are getting this boring result in the screen. So instead, what we will try in this test is let's try to get it, get the result in a CSV file. And for that, I have to run k6 run minus minus out csv is equal to test minus results dot csv and now the test name which is basic minus authentication authentication minus 2.js and here we have got we have got the test completed so let me go into the folder and i will show you the csv file that is generated as part of this test so here we could see the test minus results.csv and under the folder here you can see test results and minus csv and let me open this in excel and we will see the results so here we can see the results of this test here so here we have got the http request its duration 
the HTTP request block, the connecting. So every details that we have executed as part of this test. So with that, I come to an end. We will discuss about some another interesting concepts of K6 in our next video. Until then, it's bye-bye from Asan Shanmugam and Little Slaw.